So when we look at the dinosaur fossils, rather than looking at them from the standpoint of we have early dinosaurs, then middle dinosaurs, then later dinosaurs, you're looking at per, from the perspective that all those dinosaurs were in existence. They were all living, and then there was this huge catastrophe that brought them to an end. The dinosaurs are already dinosaurs when they first when they first appear. They look just like anyone would see, think a dinosaur looked. And this is an enigma for, for those who believe in the evolution of the dinosaurs. But we hear a lot about transitional forms. What's, what's the real story there? Scientists have been able to lay out some forms they think are transitional. And some of them are very interesting, some even challenging. But they are the exceptions to the rule. The rule is there are no transitional fossils. And what we find in the fossil record and contra to Darwin's hopes, this is the rule, is that a form exists in the fossil record, it basically stays unchanged, and it disappears from the fossil record without having been changed. That's got to mean something besides evolution, because we don't ever see changes from this form into this form in the, in the rocks themselves. So it's coming from somewhere else. It's, it's, a, it's a paradigm that's being imposed on the data rather than the data providing the paradigm. Mm -hmm. So I think it's very easy for me to be a creationist just based on my understanding of the complexity of life forms. And when we look at the fossil record, we can see that complexity is all there from the beginning. And this, this begs the question of where did all this complexity come from? It's one thing to have faith. I have faith that God was the creator, but that's substantiated by what I see around me. Mm -hmm. To say I have faith that evolution produced this when I can't even see how it could have happened, that's blind faith. That's a leap in the dark. That's a leap in the dark.